This is take three of my video of my Motorola deck phone. This is the cordless phone base. Uh, the cordless phone, which I had, I've taken apart and is in pieces. I'm no longer using it, obviously. Uh, it's dangerous to have in your house. This deck phone broadcasts a signal and receives a signal. And so it is essentially a mini cell tower in your house. Here's a reading I have from a local cell tower. This was taken in February 19th, about one kilometer from the Poco Trail, which is just a local bike trail or walking trail, whatnot. So the microwatts per centimeter square we were looking at was, the reading was 0.632. So uh, the bioinitiative report advises in 2007 that it was 0 0.006 was the maximum uh, safe level you should have. So again, this is one kilometer from a cell tower and the reading is microwatts per centimeter square was 0.632. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my meter here and I'm going to set it so it reads the uh, the max pulse readings. So it'll read the maximum level that is put out. And I'll set it to microwatts per centimeter square. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this phone in. And you can watch how deadly these things are. Watch the numbers climb. So I just plugged it in, and <laughs> you can see 16.9. And again, if you look here, a kilometer away from a cell tower, this is considered really high and causes all kinds of things. Um, it interferes with the, uh, the cells in your body, interferes with how your brain operates, how your body operates. And it, although you, it, this reading, you might not feel it immediately. Over time, it, it will slowly kill you. There's no doubt about it. These readings... That was 0.6. This is 17.594. That is insanely high. Uh, these phones are killers. So that's why I'm not using mine anymore. And I'm going to take it off, put it to instant readings. So if you go right over the phone, of course you're getting a really high reading. And as I slowly back away, the numbers do go down. Um, but they are incredibly high. It's jumping all over the place. Two point three, and I'm about what three feet from the phone. Three point zero five nine. This is uh, this is ridiculous. So again, I'm going to turn that setting off. I'm going to walk into my kitchen. And I'm going to set it on the max and see where we're at now. I'm going to wait for a couple seconds just to see how far it jumps. 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So you can imagine, even at this distance, it's it's killing you slowly. Um, but as you can see, if you're if you're here and you're using the phone, you you pick up the phone and you're sitting about this close to the phone, or. Anyways, there you go. These phones are killers. Get rid of yours. Bye. Alright, so this is an part two of my uh, my first video. This is an update of my Motorola deck phone. Sorry, my allergies are just driving me crazy today, so my voice isn't very clear. So it's a Motorola deck phone. There, there was a handheld unit with a little base station 
that you can put in another room and it would transmit back and forth. I don't use that anymore, I got rid of it. I took it apart and destroyed it. So there's just this one left. Uh, I kept it because it has an answering machine. Um, what I was able to do is open the back of the phone up, undid these screws here. If you're careful, you open it up, you take the back cover off, the phone comes apart, and these two little antennas right here, these were attached to the, the board in here. So I took a soldering iron, I removed this antenna and this antenna, and now the phone is it's not reaching, it's not being as uh, it's pollution it's not, has gone down quite a bit. I'll show you what I mean. I walk over here to the meter. So I've had this on a timer for, if you can see that, almost five minutes and it's reading microwatts per centimeter square. Okay, so it reads 0 0.011. Now it's five minutes, so what I'm going to do is carry it over here towards the, the deck phone and you can see it's it's not moving and look how close I am to the phone and it's not picking anything up oh there we go so it's starting to to pick up the signals and that is about a foot away uh, where I had it before in the other room was 10 feet away so as I get a little bit closer slowly climbs and there we go skyrocketing I'll just set it down on top of the phone and there we go it's 0.335 which has gone down considerable amount uh, the first video I did I believe it was reading like 15 or 16 on this side before the decimal so it has brought it down quite a bit and it's a lot safer um, just because I removed these these two antennas and it actually says when you take the phone apart and you flip it over and you see that green board in there it'll say ANT for antennas and there was two uh, you know another thing you can do with these phones uh, these deck phones D-E-C-T deck phone is you just unplug it and it works it still works you don't get the call display when somebody phones you don't get the call display but check it out when I pick it up I have a dial tone there's a dial tone and I can dial out this the phone will work if you unplug it it still works so you don't need to throw your phone out uh, if you don't have a soldering iron, you can't remove the antennas. Uh, you know, you can unplug it. And if you want the answering machine, when you leave your house, just remember to plug your phone in, and it'll get your messages. When you come home, you unplug it. After you listen to your messages, you unplug it. That's simple. You're not poisoning your neighbors and your kids and the birds and the bees and the insects and our planet. So, there we go. That's part two of my video. And I hope that was helpful to someone. Peace out.